Hey, welcome back to the show. This is your show for Disney tips, tricks, and how to live your best Disney life. I'm Amanda. I'm Davey Brooks. So today we're talking our top five reasons we love the All Stars Resorts. Because we do. They are pretty amazing. And we're gonna talk about them as a whole because they're kind of one. The one, the thing that you <laughs> love about same. one, you would love about all of them? Yes, or there's something special about one of them. Well, we'll get there, it'll be great. Then we have a package to open from Diz Family Adventures. We won a giveaway prize from them and we're gonna open it up for you guys. I'm excited. Me too. I like free junk. And I like Diz Family Adventures, so mm -hmm. go check them out. We'll link their channel below because they're an amazing Disney channel. They have pins and box and openings and they're awesome. They also tagged us in a hot seat question for Disney. So I'm gonna put Chris in the hot seat and I'm gonna ask him 10 quest Disney questions. He's in the hot seat tonight. And what so are it's these not a quiz. Disney, what are these Disney questions about? It's kind of like just, you know, fun Disney stuff. Okay. And are they about Disney? Yes. Oh, all right. And then if you're a good boy and you answer all your questions, I have a prize for you. I'm very excited. I do want to say that I realized after one of the prizes I got for you is actually the same as something in the box. There's nothing wrong with double prizes. No, because I didn't, I didn't know I was going to win when I bought it. But we can give it to Miles, I think. And then we're gonna tag somebody after our- So if we open this now, then I'll know what's in your prize package. Yes, but you won't know what, I won't say what. Okay, <laughs> is there that much? And there'll be it. No, just one, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Oh. <gasps> Look at all the stickers! And stickers. Oh my goodness, Little Mermaid, they know how much I love Little Mermaid. That's pretty awesome. And they got the goofy sticker. Oh, I want to put it all over my iPad. And they put a thoughtful card. Oh, wow. Actually, look at this cool pirate ring. Oh, that is wicked cool. New, oh, it doesn't fit my fingers. How about your pinky? No. It's like a two year old's ring. I'll give it to Miles. to love it. <laughs> Congratulations. We hope you enjoy all the goodies. We thank you for all your support of our channel. Hope you have a magical vacation. Dis Family Adventures. Gwen, like Mickey stuff all Gwen over. Gwen and Lauren. It. Thank I you guys. It. All right. So awesome. Let's pull out the first thing, okay. which is so cool. This is really cool. It is a Mickey towel. And we are definitely gonna need this because we're doing a lot of cool stuff. Oh, and look, they sent me a, a bow for my hair. Oh. <gasps> is it Moana? I don't oh, know. Michelle's Can't gonna love that. I think it is Moana. Oh, and a Stitch Cup. Oh. Oh, and a Moana one? And a Moana one. Oh my goodness, now we all have our own. Which is cool. This is great and definitely needed. And Avenger stickers. I like the stickers. Oh, I love and it. This is Stadium. exciting. <gasps> saltwater oh, taffy. Yes. They live in Delaware and they have this great saltwater taffy store right near them. So I can't wait to try it. They were, How cool is that? They're worried it was going to be melted. But it doesn't it sound sounds melted. okay. It sounds hard. And usually taffy is pretty durable. And I'll put it in the freezer if it's melted. Okay. Wow. What is it? A stitch pin. Yes. Which is really cool. That's so exciting. It's stitch riding a little Vespa. I love it. How fun. We don't have a lot of pins, so. And we need this thing. A <gasps> it's mini a bag. tote. This tote bag I was so excited for. We were definitely going to use this on our trip. We leave pretty soon to go to Orlando. So thank you guys so much. This is so awesome. And a Sully keychain thing. <laughs> Love Which it. is neat. He looks I really squishy. It. This is awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, like we said, Dis Family Adventures, make sure you check them out for sure. All right, um, and then we have our top five th favorite things about the All Star Resorts. You want to go first? Mm -hmm. What's your top, what's your number five? My, the reason that I think that it's a really cool resort is the proximity to the other All Star Resorts. Okay. So within a three to four minute walk, you can get from music to movies or to sports and mm -hmm. see some other things and look at their gift shops. So you're not condemned to that one area. You have a bunch of places you can branch out and go visit. Yeah, and they allow you to use all the pools mm -hmm. for any resort you're staying which at. Which is use really any amenities, which is nice. And the other cool thing is, even if you're not staying at movies, movies has the coolest stuff to look at. Yeah, it does have some So cool you can stuff. pop over to movies, walk around, go see the Toy Story area, and then go back to sports yeah. or music, which isn't bad. Just That's a really different. good one. Yeah. I like that. I thought that was neat. My number five is the movie theater at All Star Movies that has popcorn and has like a little theater. Ooh. So all the resorts offer movies at night, um, outdoor movie nights, mm -hmm. 
but All Star Movies is the only one where there's a little movie theater for yep. you to go sit in. Well, it's like they're a version of the outdoor theater, yeah. only they have a gazebo set up. A gazebo, that's the word. Yeah. And even if it's raining, they'll have the movie, which is yeah. great. Nice. What's your number four? Um, my number four is the secret menu at mm. movies. Very cool. In addition to the experience, the food itself is really good. So in order to get it, you have to be very quiet and walk up to the guys at the All Star Movies uh, quick serve place. Yep, the grill. The grill, yep. yeah. And ask them to see the secret menu. You gotta whisper it, because it's a secret. And, it, and they bring you out a viewfinder. Like an old school viewfinder. And you like. have to click through it and look at the things you want. Now we ended up ordering everything on the menu. There were only three things. Yeah. But it was all really good it and it was, was neat. It was so fun. I thought it was a fun experience and the food was good. Yes. And it wasn't necessarily more expensive than you'd pay for anything else, so. Yeah, agreed. I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, my number four is simply the price. Wow. This is a value resort, and you know what? It's actually a really good value. So yeah. I think the average that I've seen when I look is two something, mm -hmm. but one 180 is like a good deal. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it is a studio room. They do offer family suites. But that's even more money. Yep. But it's pretty cool because you get a bedroom with two bathrooms. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's for the value for staying at Disney, having all the transportation, getting all the magic, extra magic hours, everything, and staying on Disney. It's a good price. I, I agree. Yeah. It's kind of neat. Yeah. What's your number three? My number three was actually the outdoor movies. Oh, fun. Uh, the outdoor resort. No way. Yeah, at the movies resort, when you go and you hang out and you go see the outdoor movie, it's kind of neat. All yeah. the other ones that you would go to have them set outdoors by the by pool. By the pool, which is kind of cool. Which is great, but if it rains, you can't do it. Yeah. Or, you know, it's like just... It's also hard to find a spot to sit, like mm -hmm. before we've actually sat behind it, remember? We sat behind it and somehow I synced <laughs> my phone to play the movie that was playing. Because we and couldn't I, hear I it. And I nailed it. So we were sitting behind it and watching it in reverse, but you can't At really tell much. At the pool bar, because you got a table by the pool bar. Yeah. Because there was nowhere to sit in front, everyone was blocking it. Yep. But that was, it worked out well. It was that fun. was great. And we had a drink by the pool. Yep. Yeah. All right, my number three is the Calypso Pool mm. at All Star Music. We, our second trip that we went, we actually stayed, we got asked for premium, the premium room. So we're right near the lobby, which makes it everything better. If you are gonna stay at All Star, we definitely recommend asking for a premium room that's yes. right near the lobby and the giant pool because at night walking from the bus to your room with sleeping children or even yep. without, it's a long trek. Yeah, the first the first time we stayed, we were all the way near the very back of the resort. At Broadway. Yeah, yeah. and it walking, carrying the kids yeah, was miserable. Yeah, after a long day walking all day at the park. Not, not to mention if you just wanted to like go to the commissary and get something. Or if it was raining. Or if it, like, yeah. There's a number of reasons that $15 extra a night for a premium room Worth is it. a great deal. It made our trip infinitely better, yeah. I feel like. Not to mention, at night when the kids were sleeping, we'd go hang out outside. It doesn't necessarily yeah. have a balcony. No. But yeah. like we would hang outside. You could bring your chairs out and yeah. hang out. We brought the chairs out, we'd bring a beer out, we'd watch the people at the pool. We had yeah. a great time. And that pool is actually really fun. Mm -hmm. the, like it feels like you're in like a calypso, like a, almost like um, the Caribbean resort. Maybe like you a little bit, You get that yeah. vibe, the beachy cool vibe. Mm -hmm. And it takes you away from like the Disney craziness. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, what's your number? Wow, we're on to number two already. We're on to number two already. Uh, my number two is the theming. Mm. And not just the movies, even though the movies is specifically the one that I love the most, yeah. but all of the theming everywhere. I mean, the end caps at music with the um, the jazz players, like you've got the trumpet player yeah. who kind of looks like Louis Armstrong, and the theming all around the Calypso pool where you got like the marimbas, the xylophone looking colors. It's yeah. so, everything is cool. And the country oh. western. The country the western when you walk back there, you've got the winner's circle over yeah. at All Star Sports, which is neat. Mm -hmm. And then the giant Toy Story icon. And then, yes, it's when you so get over cool. to movies. Probably my favorite. And you see the Toy Story icons and you see 101 Dalmatians. Like, it's the coolest. It is pretty cool. So you really feel like you're at Disney. Yes. Which is different than staying at a moderate or a deluxe because they don't have a lot of those things. Right, right. Agreed. Mm. Um, my number two was actually your number four, I wow. think, with the secret menu. Mm -hmm. Was that your number four? That was my number four. The Secret Menu at All Star Movies is amazing. We like we were saying we got the um, we got a cinnamon bun cheeseburger, mm -hmm. a poutine, just poutine, right? Yeah. Poutine and then a macaroni and cheese with bacon hot dog. Yep. And it was amazing. 
for sure. Like it was I would get awesome. that again. That yeah, was good. I would get that any day. And it was just a fun experience. So yeah, mm -hmm. secret menu. And what's your number one? My number one is your number four. <laughs> we should start doing a top ten. I know, because now we have to stop this. My number one is your number for two. Oh my <laughs> god, we have the to Disney stop doing theming. This. Yeah. And yours is the price. So the price is killer. I yeah. mean, if you want to go to Disney and you don't want to pay an arm and a leg, it's worth it. And they're Disney. I know. And your number one is? The, the theming. The theming. For is sure. So cool. You can't beat the giant icons. I, I love. Totally agree. All right. It is time to put you in the hot seat. Okay. I don't know what that means. Like I said, so. I was tagged by. We were tagged by Diz Family Adventures. They came up with. They have 20 questions, but they each did 10 for each person. But I'm just going to ask you 10 okay. questions. That sounds like a good plan. All right. Good. Are you ready? I'm ready. Just try your best. Okay. Be honest. Are these going to be hard questions? No. <laughs> which Disney movie would you turn into a ride and which park would it be in? If you could turn any Disney movie into a ride, what would it be? Oh, I don't and where would you put it? I don't even watch Disney movies. Oh, please. You know what needs a, you know what needs a ride? Aladdin. Because the magic carpets of Aladdin is garbage. Yeah. So I would choose Aladdin. Mm -hmm. And where would I put it? Morocco, Epcot. Would I put it at Epcot? Actually, a another another ride at Epcot would be really cool. So Maybe I would put it at Epcot. Ride? Yeah, I, I would want to go through the Cave of Wonders. Yeah, oh, that would be neat. I think the Cave of Wonders Aladdin ride Disney would be a great experience Disney. And they could make it maybe even like Pandora, like Flight of Passage, where you're like feel like you're on it the carpet. It absolutely should be. Yeah. yeah, that's what they should do. That would be so cool. I like so that, that one. that's it. And if that comes around, I'm suing. <laughs> that was perfect. Thank you. Number two, what new theme would you turn into a resort? What new theme would I turn into a resort? Right. If there was a new. I don't resort. know. They have the Polynesian. They have. Yeah. Gwen. I... Gwen said she would do an Australian outback resort, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, it's hot enough. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a frozen resort would be fun. Oh, though. yeah. There was no frozen in the resorts. No. I mean, it would be really hot, so you wouldn't be able to use real ice. Yes. But maybe you, you can like, make it look like a castle. You can make like, it look like ice. Like with frozen ice. resort. That's that's what I, I like would that. Do. That would be cool. I mean, they have the Star Wars coming, right? Yeah. So you got to do frozen. All right, number three. What character would you choose to spend the day with at the parks, and what would you do? So when like, you could get, get I feel like I want to have a talking character. I picked yeah. Gaston. Oh, <gasps> why? And we would wreak havoc. Yeah. Yeah, we would cause some serious trouble. You, yeah, you get kicked out. Yeah, probably. For sure. Yeah, me and Gaston. <laughs> Go drink some beers. Yep. All right, good one. Number four. Out of all the lands, what would you get rid of and why? In Magic Probably. Kingdom, or? I think anywhere, it doesn't say. So, Future World at Epcot. Um, what would I get rid of? The World of? Showcase. Um, the, di Africa. the dinosaur place at Animal Kingdom. The Dino Land. Yeah, Dino Land is terrible. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be a carnival. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, it's a carnival. Yeah, I think they. I think it's in the works. A lot of people yeah, don't like I it. Yeah, I really hope so. Yeah. All right, that was a good one. Um, number six, where in the world would you build another Disney theme park? Uh, they should put another one in Florida. Oh. But a hundred miles away, yeah, that would compete with each other. Oh, so that they would continually get better and less crowded. And less crowded. Okay. <laughs> All right. Number six. Which Disney movie do you want a sequel of? Moana. I was thinking that too. Yeah, that's. I think the one that we should need have a, a sequel. Moana too for sure. Number seven. Pick one Disney character you would like to work with, and why? Work with? Yeah. I have to work with them? Yeah. Uh, rabbit. <gasps> why? Because I feel like he would do all the work and I could just chill out. That's like what Pooh does. Pooh just hangs out and Rabbit does all the work and then gets angry and then Rabbit like passive aggressively is like, you should be working. Yeah. But Pooh doesn't Do you think work. that Rabbit was a, would annoy you with his passive aggressiveness? No, I don't care as long as I don't have to do any work. All right, all right. Good answer, good answer. Um, number eight. If you could be in any Disney movie, what would it be? Yeah, what would I be in? I would be in either Peter Pan. Okay. Or I would be in Aladdin. All right. To hang out with the villains. I, I like just want to be very clear, it's villains. Are you a VK? I'm a VK. I'm a villain, villain kid. Villain kid. Um, if you, oh, what castle would you want to live in? Of all the castles at Disney, which one would you want to live in? Uh, Cinderella's castle. 
Why? Because it's gigantic. And just got a new paint job. And it just got a new paint job. And Aurora's Castle is just a little bitty <laughs> out in Disneyland. <laughs> It's just like that big, and Cinderella's castle is like this big. So would you live up in the suite? At the yes, Cinderella, the... I would live in that super special suite that one day we're gonna figure out a way to get into. Yes. Last question. What villain would you want to be related to and why? This is a good one for you, because the villains. What villain would I want to be related to? Maybe Jafar, because maybe I could have some magic. Oh, like pass it down to you? Yeah. Sorcery? Do you think that, that was inher it's inherited or you think you learned that? I don't know. Dr. Facilier. Oh. That's the one. Yeah? He's like a real bad dude. Yeah, he does but, voodoo. Yeah, but I'm into voodoo like magic. the evil spirits juju and stuff. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. I'd raise some evil spirits and yeah? I'd have them take you away. <gasps> and get me a new co-host. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> oh, that was good villain laugh. Well, that was really fun. What do you think? I dig it. That There's 10 cool, more right? questions. There's 10 more that you could ask me. Maybe we'll do that next Ooh, time. Ooh, maybe next week want. we can do that. Yeah. That'd be cool. But we got to tag someone now to go do these questions and put someone in the hot seat. And we're going to tag the Magic Rose family. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that I would love to hear your answers to this. You guys, are, check them out. They're really funny. The Magic Rose family, they do Disney stuff too. Just like us, gotta love it. So we'll put both of those channels down in the description yes. and all the questions. Yes in case you want to do both sets of questions. And uh, I think you deserve a prize. Sarah. I need a prize. Now, what did you get me that is also in that box? Is it the stitch thing? Nope. What is it? Careful, because it's this Is it the this salt water tabby? Did you go to Delaware to get salt I water I went all tabby? the way to Delaware and got the same one. First Finally, thing. beef jerky! I got that the last second. Just be careful, because it's, look. It's brackable? Yeah, well, I, I wrapped it in there. Oh, that's really neat. They didn't get us this. No, it's not that. Oh, it's the towel. It's the towel. Oh, that's cool, though. But I figured we can give it to Miles. This is a really neat mug. And not only that, but I got two. <gasps> two mugs. My mom bought me one for me. That's awesome. And then I got you the other ones we can have I matching I love the Toy Story ones. mug. That's they were cool. on clearance at the Disney store. Super clearance. For $5. How cool is that? Made in the 90s. And you got me. The Mickey towel. I got him the same one Which before I, I knew I won. <laughs> that's okay. That's fantastic because now we've got Uber towels yes. for our Disney trip, which yes. I'm so excited for. Isn't that funny? Yep. I'm pumped. Dis I love family, it. we all, good minds think alike. All right. You talk to them as we go out and I'm going to eat some beef jerky. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us on Magic for Four. I hope you guys had fun talking. This time next week, we will be at Disney. We're gonna be at Orlando. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be filming from there. So we're so excited. I'm pumped. Wish us luck on our drive. We're driving down and uh, we can't wait to get away. See you guys next week. We're still debating park tickets. So no, we're not. I'm buying them. <laughs> it's gonna depend on a lot of things. No, it's not. I'm buying them. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no talking me out of it. I'm buying, <laughs> I'm buying park tickets. Initially, we weren't planning on going to the park, right. but we're going to the park. Probably. We are. All right, guys, don't forget to bring home the magic. <laughs>